How's it going guys and welcome back. In this video, we're going to be checking out a very nice way of getting some extra money in Pokemon Legends Arceus. If you've been playing for a little while, you've probably picked up a few of these college shards from the distortion zones and you're most likely asking yourself, what are they actually for? Well, they actually have a very good use when it comes to getting some extra money. Very quickly, just to make sure we're all on the same page, we can get green, blue, and red shards from inside the distortion zones once they activate. We can find loads of these inside the distortion zone once they activate just on the ground, so run around, picking them all up, take as many as you can possibly carry or see in the time we get. The reason for this is because once we reach late game and we go to the crafting shop merchant back in Jubilife Village, we'll be able to buy a recipe for star pieces for a whopping 10,000. This may seem like a lot, but it's definitely worth the return on your cash. This recipe will allow us to create star pieces which sell for 5,000 a piece. The materials it requires are, as you probably guessed, three of each type of colored shard. That means three red shards, three blue shards, and three green shards, as well as stardust. At this point of the game, you should have tons of Stardust anyway, as it's an occasional drop from the rocks we destroy with that Pokemon to farm the minerals, especially the ones that are glowing. So each time we combine those materials together, we get a star piece, which we can then sell back to the merchant by simply switching the tabs at the top for 5,000 a piece. So you can finally get that satchel inventory upgrade you've always been wanting. Another great thing about this is that inside the dark distortion zones, there's actually a chance of picking up comet pieces as well, which sell for like 15,000 a piece. So make sure we're selling those off as well for even more money. Also, before we end the video, let's talk a little bit about the Dark Distortion Zones. Some of you may be asking, how do we actually get them to spawn and how do we activate them? Well, there's no way to precisely force spawn these Dark Zones. However, through experience, it does seem like there's a lot higher chance of them spawning when we're walking around a region, interacting with the environment, such as gathering materials from the rocks and the trees, battling Pokemon, fighting the Alphas. And if we do this for a little while, usually a Distortion Zone will show up sooner or later, which you can see with the spiral icon on the map. And another question is, once you get inside, sometimes you notice they don't activate straight away, as in the Pokemon inside are just the regular Pokemon, there's no rare items. If that's the case, all we need to do is start defeating all the Pokemon that are trapped inside the Distortion Zone. You can either capture them or defeat them. Pretty much just interact with anything you can find inside the Distortion Zone until there's nothing left. And when there's just a couple of Pokemon left, usually it will activate the Distortion Zone. Once it is active, make sure you make the most of it and grab all of those colored shards. So I hope you did find this video helpful, guys. If you did, don't forget to thumbs up button, subscribe for more content coming very soon, and we'll see you next time.